YouTube this is your mevani and welcome back to my YouTube channel so we are back we are back after almost 3 months and uh, i bought you guys a brand new exciting tutorial after 3 months and i am going to teach you how to create that drop transition in after effects so this tutorial is totally going to be into after effects it is not we are not going to use premiere pro it is just <clears throat> too basic you know we are going to learn after effects now so 2000 years later so guys it's been more than 2000 years since i have clicked on after effects and it's as you can see it still haven't opened yet so i think it will take more 100 or 200 years to open so uh, wait till then and then i will start the tutorial after that please please wait and one disclaimer before starting this video is this video is not going to be actual tutorial this is going to be like a breakdown video i'm not going to create anything from scratch i'm just going to show you and open that after effect composition and i'm going to show you how did i created that and that effect which effects i used which techniques i used while creating that video so that's how this video is going to be this is not going to be a tutorial but still i have explained everything in detail so bear with me till the end of the video and you will learn how to create that drop transition easily and how did you guys like my new setup i mean this is not a setup but i think this is better framing than which i used in the last few videos because it was just totally shit <laughs> yeah boy i was inside my home and this is my balcony so i am getting a natural light over here so i don't need anything like artificial light or anything like that and just as you saw that small clip before the starting of this video if you want to see more of the clips you can follow me on instagram at direct devil and and without any more bullshit let's get into the video so here we are into the after effects and as you can see i have edited this video in totally in after effects and i have used premiere pro just for the sound design so here you can see there are not too many layers and trust me it is really simple if you will follow me along till the end of this tutorial it's pretty easy to do if we will break down this video there are three most important things fake rain fake lighting and water drop we are going to break down everything one by one So let's first start with fake rain. To create fake rainfall, come over here in Effects and Presets and search for CC rainfall. After finding CC rainfall, come over here and right click and create a new adjustment layer and drag that CC rainfall onto the adjustment layer. Under Effects Control Panel of that adjustment layer, as you can see there is CC rain and you can change different settings to get a desired look for your rain. in the main composition which i have already edited as you can see there are two adjustment layers of rain i will tell you later on why there are two adjustment layers of rain but in this rain we have one problem when the camera moves under the shade there should not be rain on my face or on the walls the rain should be only on the outward parts and if we are going to use the cc rainfall on the adjustment layer then it is going to appear everywhere on my face and also on the walls so to stop that from happening we are going to mask out the parts which we don't want under the rain so to do that select your adjustment layer and come over here and select pen tool and draw around your face and around your walls and after drawing a rough mask around your face and the walls come under the mask and click on this stopwatch to enable key frames and go into one frame forward by using page up and again change the mask as your body and the camera moves and keep doing this and change your masking as per your need till the point where you are actually zoomed into the drop in this main composition as you can see under the adjustment layer there are so many key frames i have made in the masking section and don't forget to click on inverted because if you don't do that it will do totally opposite of what you want it will show the rain on the walls and your face and uh, not in the background so do that now at this point we are almost done with creating the fake rain now we are going to move towards how to create the fake lightning to create the fake lightning you are going to effects and presets again and going to search for lightning create another adjustment layer in the composition hit enter and rename it to lightning and now drag that lightning on the lightning adjustment layer after dragging the lightning you will find two points on the screen one point is where the lightning is starting and the another point is where the lightning is ending start the lightning and put your start point and end point where you want the lightning to be and now come into effects control panel of that adjustment layer and just play with some settings like branching glow and other type of things to make it look more realistic and now enable the keyframes of start point and the end point so you can keyframe the movement of the lightning now 
move one or two frames forward uh, by using page up or page down now move this end point and start point anywhere you want and keep doing this for like 10 or 20 frames so it will look really quick don't forget to go creative with the settings you have over here and just find the perfect lightning uh, shapes you want and create them however you want one bonus tip to make your lightning look much more realistic is adding lumetri color to your main video layer and then going to the basic correction and keyframing the exposure of the video and going a little bit up and down as the lightning strikes in the sky it is going to make it look like the light of the lightning is actually affecting the surrounding area now as we are done with creating fake rain and fake lightning we are going to move towards creating drop while creating the falling of the drop there are two main things first thing is actual the movement of the drop and the second thing is the moving background so first let's take a look at how to create drop and then we will look at how to create the moving background to make a drop create a solid layer which is kind of a bluish color and then click on the pen tool and create a mask around that bluish color solid and create a drop shape and then add warp wave warp cc glass un saturation lumetri color all of these things onto that solid layer wave and wave warp are the things which are going to help that solid to move in randomness so it will look like actual drop i can't exactly tell you what settings you should use in warp and wave warp because uh, it is just dependent on person to person and what type of look you want to give to your drop if you want to make your drop move like a little bit faster and want to make it look like it is moving really fast then you should use some intense settings like i have used i have used really high settings so my drop will look like it is moving really fast on the screen as you can see right now these are the settings i have used for wave warp and warp we have added cc glass to make it look like a little bit of glass because there is no other effect in uh, after effects which will make that drop look like water so we are going to make it look like a little bit glass so it will give the reflection of the surroundings onto that water i have added u and saturation because my drops moves from different kind of sky so uh, if you will see at the starting of the video it is in the blue sky and as we move towards the end of the video it is going into a cloudy sky so so what i have did with u and saturation is uh, first when the drop starts moving it is into the blue sky and that's why i have kept high saturation and after it is going into the cloudy sky i have reduced the saturation so it will match with the background another effect which we have added is lumetri color lumetri color is helpful for uh, the exposure of the drop so we are going to increase and decrease the exposure of the drop as it is going from different uh, kind of skies like blue sky and cloudy sky so uh, when the drop comes into the cloudy sky we are going to decrease the exposure of the drop and when it is in the blue sky we are going to increase a little bit of exposure of the drop not just exposure i have keyframed everything like contrast highlight shadows and every kind of effects even if i think that i should increase the shadows or anything like that I can change anything afterwards while I am editing the video. And one more bonus tip over here is you can decrease the opacity of that drop by clicking on the drop and hitting T and decrease the opacity so it will reflect a little bit of uh, what's uh, behind it. To create the natural movement of falling of drop, the most important thing is randomness of drop. So in here what we can do is as you can see under mask section, I have changed the shape of the drop from like a round shape to a eggy kind of shape so it is changing the shape of its drop from while it is falling up from the sky another thing we can do is change the position of the drop and make it a little bit shaky so uh, it will get a kind of motion blur in it plus we can scale it up and scale it down so it will look like the drop is coming closer to the camera and going far from the camera for the one last step duplicate the drop layer which is the solid blue solid and put both of those layers on darken color blending mode so at this point we are done with creating the fake rainfall, fake lightning and fake drop. Now the time is to create that moving background. What you can do to create that fake moving background is take any cloud photos and zoom into the photo to a particular corner of the photo and then keyframe the position of that photo towards the bottom corner of that photo. So the camera is going to move from one point to another of that photo. 
it is going to help us to create a movement in that photo now what you can do is you can control d and duplicate those layers again and again till you are satisfied uh, with the length of the sky you want in between layers of the clouds you can change the direction of the sky or the movement of the background so it will look like it suddenly moves uh, towards a little bit left and towards a little bit right and it suddenly goes down so you can create some fluctuations in the movement of the background and then right click and pre-compose it to make it as a single layer one last thing to make everything look perfect is enable the motion blur on every layer and click over here to enable the composition motion blur so you can see how motion blur is actually affecting your composition and that is how pretty much you can do the falling of the drop effect inside the after effects now all you need to do is export this composition and put it into premiere pro and just do some sound designing like uh, the drop sound and some music and all other things so that was the video guys if you enjoyed this video just don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you learned anything out of this and comment down below how was it and if there are any suggestions that you want to give to me i am all yours you can give it in the comment section down below or dm me on instagram and thank you for watching this video guys and i will see you in the next video sign